Last week they threw it 34 times and they ran it 34 times. Balanced again. Teon Green fighting through tacklers. 57 yards through the air against Memphis. That broke a 47-year-old school record. Boilermakers stiffen there defensively against Big Ten teams on the road. Ugh, there was a thump right on the exchange there. After a three-game suspension, he makes his 2016 season debut in the backfield for the Terps. Hills fires it, picked! It's intercepted! Knocking out of bounds, the linebacker, it's Marcus Bailey. Barkley, met in the backfield and thrown down for a loss. Back at the 31 by Marcus Bailey. It's the inside. 30 seconds from Good job of getting penetration up front by this defensive line. And, and that's what it's been. And, and number 21, Bailey, their leading tackler on this football team. On first and goal. Saquon again, and why not? Lunges for the goal line. They're going to spot him a yard shy. Here is McCrary. Drop the helmet and stopped at the line of scrimmage. On third down and eight. Leidner with time over the middle. Throw short of the first down. As Wolitarski makes the catch. Well, there's pressure five and it's taken away. Intercepted at the five yard line. Marcus Bailey with the pick his second of the year and a rare red zone turnover from the Purdue defense. Matched up on Carr. Reads it. Second and goal. As Alvidi hands it off. But Corey Acker. Tom Ruby is the deep back here for Northwestern on fourth and goal. We told you about Ruby, he's a Navy SEAL. He's 32 years old, and he fumbled the ball, picked it up, and gets brought down, lost the ball again near the goal line. So, Tom Ruby, Ruby the American the hero. After down. Third down and two, Moten tried to get away, but he couldn't. Marcus Bailey Ruby stepped Ruby up Ruby. with the stop. The force fourth down. What are we here for? Clement trying to get to the outside. Nice job by the Boilermakers. They would not let him get outside. They set the edge. Kind of what you would expect to see Wisconsin Purdue. Clement approaching 1,000 yards this season. Stopped this time at the 37, and our first chance to check in with Cassidy Hubbard. The thing you need to do to take the next step, he, he really works hard at that, does a nice job of it. Second and six, Shaw checks in, drilled behind the line of scrimmage. Come in here and recruit, but uh, this is a place if you come and you can get quarterbacks, and right now on the roster they have a sophomore and a freshman quarterback who look pretty good, so expectations are great. But he deals with each individual the way they should be dealt with as individuals. Brown. Did he put it on the ground again? He did. And it's picked up by Purdue. Boilers have got it. Jalen Robinson, the senior from Shearville, comes away with it. 83 pounds, a junior. Gets that helmet in there, pops it right on it. Back in the old days, they used to coaches to put that hat on the ball. We don't do that anymore, but I'm telling you, that's what happened. Looking at a third down and five. Boilermakers bring heat and get home with Marcus Bailey getting the second Purdue sack of the afternoon. And Spate still down. O'Corn in trouble and sack back at the 40. It's the second of the day for Marcus Bailey. And this Purdue defense generating a ton of pressure today. Just the aggressiveness. I mean, they're bringing different blitzes and pressures. You can see Bailey with the swim move over Higdon. All the way down the field. Goal to go for Minnesota. And this one is bottled up with Brooks. Smith on the dump down. 
And he's out of bounds. So now the chains are the enemy. It's fourth down Minnesota. I'd be one frustrated Jeff Brown if I were him. Orny Brook on second down. A little pressure. Nice. Orny Brook in well trouble done. and he's sacked. Good Back coverage. at the 11. Nowhere to go. And no, so now it shuts down. That's an excellent job. Blitz. Here they come. Down goes Lee. Once again, Marcus Bailey. Helping him out, Danny Easy Juku. On the, on the fire screen and then bringing the blitz and getting to Tanner Lee. Through in motion on first down. This is Foster. Virtually no gain, maybe a half yard. Through in motion. Second down, Thomas throwing, hit, and Bailey with a sack. Marcus Bailey, the sophomore linebacker. One-on-one -on -one block of Kendrick Foster. Bailey, a very adept at blitzing at the bottom of your screen. Foster's going to come across Thomas's face to block. Today, an undersized hybrid defensive end that's got great pass rush ability. Thorson will dump it off to Larkin across midfield. The former Wildcat All-America linebacker, he's got things rolling right now. Rocky. Second down and eight. Play action, pressure coming, Stanley in trouble, and Stanley is sacked. Marcus Bailey right on top of Nathan Stanley. Yeah, so you can see, they, they just have let him go. They're going to block down on the inside. Looks like the tight end's going to clown on the route anyway. And he's just come clean. Bailey's come clean. And through it, and it's tough on a defensive back to cover that. Lego forced out of the pocket and then whacked by Marcus Bailey from behind. Uyghurs will throw. Avoiding the blitz pressure. And then taking down the ball's loose. Marcus Bailey able to put himself into the picture. 21 in black, forcing the quarterback to hurry. Again, of Purdue, they brought the blitz with Bailey. Stays on his feet, beats that running back, strips the ball. Watch Bailey on the blitz. Beats the running back, stays active, strips the ball. Uyghurs with pressure. He's going down. Marcus Bailey and Cornell Jones would not be denied. Here comes the blitz again. Nick Holt, nice play. Nice play call by defensive coordinator Nick Holt, bringing that blitz at the right time. Didn't have enough blockers. Does a nice job jumping over the running back. Brown under pressure. And Bailey brings him down at the 35-yard line. So that time they brought a couple of extra rushers and Bailey gets the sack. Martinez in trouble and he's down. Good coverage, nowhere to go with the ball. And Marcus Bailey with a sack. They did a nice job of jumping it right away. You can see right over this here. The makers believe that despite just shocking the world and pulling the upset, they, they're contenders in the Big Ten West. It is intercepted. Bailey the other way. Marcus Bailey punctuates this upset with a pick six. Ohio State receivers run into each other. If you look out right in that area, ran into each other, miscommunication. Dwayne Haskins with a rare poor decision. You don't see him make these decisions, an errant pass. And Bailey is right there to capitalize on it. Take it into the end zone. He hands it off on first down to L.J. Scott. On a third down and long. Stanley dumps it off. Sargent tripped up. Marcus Bailey, the leading tackler for Purdue. The academic All-Big Ten player with the stop. Nice blocking in front of the quarterback, and they finally get to him as he runs out of time. This, they only bring four here, and an excellent job by Minnesota picking it up, but even better coverage by Purdue, and that produces the sack. And Groshek the carry. Got a block, and 
down to the 48-yard line. Purdue's defense comes up big again, and they'll force a Wisconsin punt this time. A lot of speculation, regardless about his immediate future. A lot of time for Ramsey, but a time running out, and now giving ground again, he's going to be tackled back at the 10. What's the latest you hear, Alex? Three rushes, they're dropping eight. Neal, a little shovel pass to Vaughn. He's trying to get a little yardage, but he's not going to get very far. Here's the motion man for Vanderbilt on third down. Got the backside one-on-one. -on -one. Neal in trouble, and Neal is dropped. Great coverage. Actually, he bailed on that a little bit too soon. Vanderbilt will look for an answer. Keyshawn Vaughn will try to start it, and he runs right into the arms of, guess who, Marcus Bailey again.